Well, hello there. I disappeared for a month, and I'm very sorry about that, but guess where I went? You wouldn't have to guess if you followed me on the appropriate social media platform, so maybe go and do that real quick before I tell you that I went to Sitsy, bitches. And I didn't vlog it. I was going to. I filmed a little bit on the way over there, so here's a quick montage of what the video would have been like if I were better at this. <laughs> Being me, I was feeling quite trapped and restless, being stuck in Australia, so I had to chat to my buddy Jeek and book some flights to Ireland, eight days before I left. And I'd been back in the country for three days when I booked my flights to Indonesia, where I'm going in about an hour from now, so there is a whole nother issue waiting to be explored in relation to the way that I'm apparently coping with having a job and adult responsibilities. Since it was so last minute, I thought that it would be a fun little game to not tell anyone that I was going and then just tweet the word whoops a bunch of times with photos of the airport and the plane and the sky and the Jake and just kind of let people put the pieces together themselves. And it was very entertaining. <laughs> I do not have the mental capacity at this point to provide a concise rundown of Ireland or Sitsi or really anything else that's going on in my life. Because as I said, I'm going to Indonesia in under an hour and I haven't finished packing yet. So what you're gonna get instead is a bit of a pick and mix of the things that are apparently most important to me and come to my mind first. <laughs> Firstly, and perhaps most importantly, I got upgraded on the flight over there and I felt like I had finally found my rightful place amongst the ruling classes because I had a bed and a constant flow of champagne so I just got drunk in the sky and watched documentaries and this one movie about fairies who were really angsty about love and they kept bursting into song for no reason so it was pretty much just my actual life but with wings and I think I drank an entire bottle of verve. It was great. <laughs> Secondly, I forgot to take a selfie with Jake's donkey again. It's the only reason that I wanted to hang out with him and I forgot. God damn it. We did, however, have a whale of a time. We did many activities, including navigating a camper van to the top of a really steep hill to see a hella old druid fort. Which I personally believe would be really great for witchcraft, or maybe a meeting of the moon cult. Very green, very pretty, loved the floor. Also watched a meteor shower, that was pretty cool. And I got Jake to watch the Backstreet Boys movie, which he enjoyed. So, you're welcome. We also got really good at playing Animal Vegetable Mineral, which we didn't completely realize until we played in front of other people, and they were concerned. <laughs> the thing about playing with Jake is that he will keep telling you to think outside the box, but by outside the box, he means that you need to be thinking of things like the ribbit center of a frog. Although I did make him go through 16 King Louis before he figured out which one's decapitated head I was thinking of, but you know what? That's just all part of being a really great animal vegetable mineral team. Belfast to London were really my aesthetic and I appreciated that a lot 
Jake tried to put his oyster car through the ticket slot at London Bridge Tube Station, and then we went to Sitsi. My notable events from Sitsi start with the drive over there on Saturday morning. Our Uber driver had a picture of himself set as his phone background, so the entire time I just felt like he was staring at me through his camera. Also, I did the entire rap to smack that perfectly, and I was really proud of that. Summer in the City itself was freaking great. I was so excited to get to meet you guys because living in Australia, I don't get to go to gatherings. The last Summer in the City I was at was in 2013, so I was so freaking pumped to meet you guys, and oh my god, you are exactly who I want to be watching me, and I understand completely why you're here. <laughs> Earlier, I asked you guys to tweet me some reviews of your experience meeting me, and among numerous compliments on my hugging, for which you're welcome and very good at hugs, some of your responses were as follows. Charlotte said, TBH, highlight of my Sitsi. She also said Maddie was shorter than I expected, but I'm sure she was talking about someone else. Lizzie said, 10 for smile, 10 for hugs, 10 for humor, and a V good experience all round would recommend. Cherry, who now knows everything about my life, said, you're all right, I guess. Nah, you were the best hotel pal I was. I let her keep the air conditioning on at night. Recommend, thank you. Top notch Australian. Very satisfied with that result, considering I forgot to bring the tarot cards. Hattie said, shorter than I thought. I'm five foot six, so. Makeup on point, thank you. Can really pull off an asymmetric top. Fucking finally, and let's get drunk. And we did. Abby said, you were actually surprisingly really nice compared to your cold, heartless internet persona. This is just who I am, so thank you for that. Seven out of 10 would meet again. A fair score. Juliet said, you were fairly sarcastic, but I would props recommend to a friend because you were friendly enough and your selfie face game is strong. Alice said, you were shocked and disappointed that I hadn't seen the Backstreet Boys movie. I felt horrendous guilt as though I had let my own mother down. Sophie said, Maddie is the biggest prick at Sitsi. Zoe said, you left me to die. And Jake said, if we weren't friends, I'd probably hate you. So a good weekend all around. I'm meant to be leaving for the airport in seven minutes. Oh, six minutes and I haven't finished packing, but we can do it, we can finish this video. There was also a Pokemon party, which was essentially all of my childhood dreams come true with the added bonus of free alcohol. Here's a photo of me and Dan doing a rap squat with Pikachu. My favorite part of the entire thing was the fact that I got better cards than Jake and he was pissed. Like he was really not happy about it and I took advantage of that. Hashtag proud of me. <laughs> what else? Cherry and I got very into sunglasses as a barrier between us and the outside world. Shit, 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 shit. My mom is here to take me to the airport to go to Indonesia. Full disclosure. Filming a video. Mom, I'm just finishing a video real quick. I'm just gonna read you the last paragraph of this video, okay? Because I really need to go to the airport. <clears throat> on my last night, we went on a lovely nature walk. At one point, I saw a rainbow and I was like, is it racist if I tweet a photo of a rainbow in Ireland? And Jake was like, what is wrong with you? But I still haven't tweeted it, so here it is. Hashtag exclusive content. This was also the setting of my favorite Snapchat story of the trip, which I have uploaded to my second channel, and you need to click on that right here, right now. And what I need to do right here, right now, is go really quickly finish packing, and then go to the airport to go to Bali. So I will see you guys, I don't know when. I need go pack. Bye. <laughs>